Hi everyone, I'm in bed because it's kind of late, but I wanted to make this video to show you something that's pretty special to me. Um, I started collecting these comics when I was little, I was probably around 10 years old, but they quit making them and I lost a lot of them when we moved, so I was really upset and I was never able to find the ones I had and I could never find them in store again. Well, a few months ago, I went on eBay and I searched up a few keywords and found them. So I have bought in three and I wanted to show them to you because, I don't know, this is just very nostalgic for me. It's like I'm reliving my childhood. Me and my brother used to buy comics together and here they are. So these are the Shoujo Beat books, the magazines, and this is one of my favorite anime actually this is Kimi ni Todoke and inside of it actually they have a lot of manga so it actually has seven different mangas inside almost each book so in this one it has Kimi ni Todoke and plenty of other manga let's see I'm gonna go through it and the pages are really beautiful manga panels are all like pink or blue so they're really beautiful also it has a lot of J fashion ads and that's really nice especially since I'm into Lolita so this is just one of the many that I have well not many I have three so far if I could find the others I had a lot more um, this one actually has Vampire Night in it. That was another one of my favorite animes when I was younger. Okay. And that's the cover again. So next we got this one. And this one has um, Nana in it. And it has Vampire Night and Crimson Hero. This one's kind of beat up, but... And then the back an ad for a really cute clothing brand and this one doesn't have as many pages as the last one had but this one still has a good many let's see oh yeah it gives you instructions on how to make certain things and crafts you can do And again, more manga. It's got the blue and pink panels. Let's see. These are kind of pricier now that they don't make them anymore. So finding them on eBay, you do have to pay more than you would. Um, here's some fan art that was sent in to the magazine. And it looks like there were some stickers or something that was pulled out. And I think it also has some posters in it. Or did. And then it would show you what was coming the next month. What to look forward to. And then it would also have your horoscope in the back occasionally. Here's some street style. This is in New York. If you can see it too well. My webcam light is really bright. And they have like a girl hero. And they would tell what she does. Where she's from. It looks like she crochets those little purses. I just really enjoyed these books. And see here's some... Here's some punk Lolita. Super cool. They have a whole section of Lolita. And they also have some, um, let's see, they have some paper dolls. So this one's really cool, especially because it has the Lolita and the paper dolls. But this one is the first one I bought after I started collecting them again, and this one's my favorite because it has lovely complex, 
which is one of my favorite animes of all time. The cover's really pretty. There's the back. And this one has Lovely Complex, Vampire Knight. Let's see, it has Nana, Dream Shop, Absolute Boyfriend, Baby and Me, Crimson Hero, a manga volume update, the fashion and beauty side, ooh, and Asian ball jointed dolls. I was really obsessed with ball jointed dolls when I was younger too. So here's the um, lovely complex panels. The manga art is so much cuter than the anime was. Especially because Otani looked like that. Okay, and so let's skip to the back. And this was actually teaching you um, how to speak certain phrases in Japanese. Let me just sit my microphone down for a minute. So that's really cool. Again, tons of manga. They had a costume contest corner. More fan art. for their own mangas. It was just an all-around really fun magazine, and I really miss them. They always sold them at our grocery store. crafts you can do. There's a ball jointed doll. Anyway, I know this was kind of a quiet video, but I just really wanted to show you something from my childhood that was really nostalgic for me and you might enjoy these too so if you ever want to maybe check them out just go on like eBay or Mercari or any secondhand shop and type in Shoujo Beat and you may be able to find some. You may be able to find them cheaper than I did. Um, I paid like $10 a copy for them. So if you love stuff like this like I do then you'll really enjoy these. So. Thank you for watching my late night video, and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.